Hey guys, it's me Talha. So I am back with another quick Revit tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to create door and window tags with height and width parameters. These tags will be very useful when you are working on a small project that doesn't require detailed schedules for doors and windows. Now before we get started, I want to remind you to check out my website learnrevitonline.com where you can access my advanced Revit courses. And if you find this video helpful, consider supporting my work on Patreon to help me create new content every week. Anyway, let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and first I'm going to create a new family template. So let's go to file, new, family. Here if you want you can use a family template from this English Imperial folder. I'm going to use a metric one. So let's open this English folder and then go to the annotations folder. Here look for metric window tag. Here we have it. Let's open this up. Now I'm going to add a label here. So let's select label from here and just click in the center and we get this dialog box. Here I'm going to add type mark parameter. So let's scroll down and select type mark parameter. Then click here to add this parameter to label. Now let's add width and height parameters as well. And then just click apply. Okay, there we go. Now uh, I want to add a dash here to separate this uh, type mark as well as I want to add a multiplication sign between this width and height parameter. So to do this we can just select this label again then go to edit type and then we can add hyphen in this suffix here in the type mark parameter. Just hit spacebar once and add hyphen in the width also. I will first hit spacebar then add x hit apply. Okay there we go. Our parameters are now ready. Now I'm just going to edit the size of this text. So let's select this label and then go to the properties. Now I'm going to rename this one. If you want you can uh, duplicate this one. Let's call it 1.5 millimeters. Hit OK. First I will make the background transparent and text size should be the same 1.5 millimeters and the type size should be five millimeters now let's click apply okay there we go let's save this family i'm going to call it window tag hit save so our window tag family is now ready we can use the same uh, parameters or the same family for the door tag as well we just need to change the category of this family so Let's go here family category and parameters and just select door tags from this list. Now before saving this family I'm just going to make sure we have the right uh, parameters selected because sometimes when we change the family category Revit will change the parameters as well. So let's just make sure select this label edit label and as I said the parameters have been changed. First, I will just remove these two parameters. Just select this, click here to remove this one as well. And then I'm just going to load width and height parameter again. Let's add the multiplication sign as well. Hit apply. Okay. Now we can save this family. Let's save as family. And let's call it door tag. Hit save and let's close this family editor and go back to our project and first we need to load the families that we just created. So let's go to insert load family and I'm going to select both of these families and click open. Now to add a door tag we can go to annotate and here we have these two options we can either add door tags individually one by one using the tag by category option or you can use tag all to add uh, tags to all the doors and windows in the in this view first i'm going to add a single door tag here just to test this family there we go 
now i will just hit space bar to rotate this family and just drag it here and now let's select this family and go to the properties and here i'm just going to change the type mark hit apply there we go it's working fine let's change the width and height parameters as well and as you can see it's working fine let's quickly add this to the other uh, to all the doors and windows in this view to do that we can just click here tag all and i'm going to select door tags and then scroll down check this windows tags make sure you have selected the window tag family here and the door tag as well hit apply okay there we go we just need to adjust the placement and of course you can use the same uh, families for the section views as well so let's go to the section view and i'm just going to tag all door tags window tags hit apply okay there we go and again we need to do a little bit of a adjustment in the section view as well so that's how to create windows and door tags with width and height parameters in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to access my advanced revit courses and if you found this video beneficial consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week once again thank you for your support and yeah i will see you guys in the next video